All right. So and all the uh, all Rosalina. No Olimar, no Rosal, no no Min Min either. And no speaking Min -Min. of Min Min, I don't know if you guys saw. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, <laughs> they are going FT. Okay. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys saw, but right before Smash Factory 9, right before Gluttony came to Mexico, he was practicing Min Min. So if the Buzz does bring that out. I don't think it's going to be the best of outcomes considering that Gluto now has the Min Min download. But also, if it's going to be a real counterfeit character, that's a very um, surprising future that I did not expect. What about the Min Min Ditto? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even think about that timeline. We can just put that back in the shadows where it belongs. Yes. We, in fact, do, in fact, have Gluttony and Buzz here on Final Destination. So the the stage pick wasn't too troll. No, it was actually a real stage pick. And uh, the thing that I can't really tell is who wanted to come here. I guess Gluto perhaps got the, the last few bans and got a team here. Um, less variables, of course. He wants to close out the distance on the Luma. There are less platform shenanigans for that as well. Less platform shenanigans. Also, less places to allow DeBuzz to recover. Uh, 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 a defensive position that DeBuzz and most players like to take, hiding underneath the platform, eliminated. So, yeah, open skies here on Final Destination. And Final Destination, by the way, is going to be the racetrack for the bike. If Ludo ever does bring it out, I don't usually see him get KOs with the bike, but we know how big of an element that is. The gravitational pull might end some of those tricks. But Pluto will definitely find the proper timing to extend his combos with it. And DeBuzz already losing his first Luma, but we just know how fast those come back around. Pluto getting only a few hits out of there, and he is already back with the Luma. Yeah, the up to into up air still connecting. I mean, that's really going to be what Pluto uh, tries to bring onto DeBuzz to really trap his landing. I mean, it doesn't send like too far up, and then it really sets up Blue to uh, for a reset. However, we do see the Nair into up air for the buzz, and that's going to take the first stock here for the set of Glutiny versus the buzz. Indeed. So the 3 0 promise is looking unlikely, although, well, it's looking unlikely because even though he took the first stock, I still think Ludo might keep this even. Remember, you always have technically a stock less against Warrior because of Waff. So we, we know that the Waff might come through, and the buzz losing his Luma quite often, actually. Glutiny is doing a great job of taking those out. And speaking of Waff, it is Waff time. It is online. We see him blinking like an old arcade villain. Whoa, what Whoa. was that? Two? Okay. Oh, goodbye. No! Wow, still not enough to take a stock, just barely. Okay, there you go, there's the cleanup. Rosalina is a heavy character in Mario Kart, so if you want to go with that logic, it does uh, survive for quite a while here. So I think her dress just creates a lot of drag. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get that wet and you're gonna be looking at like 50 kilos of extra weight on you. Nope. Very true, very true. But as you can see, the buzz creating this wall, not only with Luma, but Nairs and forward airs, making it difficult for Wally to find his approach. But he finally gets in with a Nair of his own. And oh, he's looking for it. You saw the clap. Unfortunately, whipped for Wally and the buzz hanging on to his second stock. For that stock to evaporate at 9%, that would have been really, really unfortunate for the buzz. Yes, but thankfully for him, the uh, Glutiny still cannot quite close the job, but he does sell on the Luma, so getting that out of there, of course, will let you close out the distance. The Buzz uh, is trying his hardest to keep Ludo out whenever the Luma is not there. Of course, he has developed pretty much a near-perfect plan whenever that happens, and when he does have the Luma, it's back in business, baby. We're going in. The Luma is going for the tilt, clanking with everything Ludo is throwing out, by the way, so no chance of hitting Rosalina. I mean, even Luma has like been a force that Glutiny has to rec recognize because uh, he isn't able to actually like approach the buzz because this Luma just continues to approach. It is the big buff Luma? He's fighting for for uh, for his princess. And she's doing a wow. great job at that. The Alper assisted with the Luma as well, and Gluto still has the waft. He has the buzz at a very high percent. If he can close his stock out. Then we can talk about being even, but he first needs to close out this job. He gets a dash attack. It's not going to be it quite yet, and he misses the attack on the Luma as well. But this downer won't get the how kill. Did he, how did the Buzz escape the down air? He was so ready to use a B, like we didn't even see the Buzz fall underneath Gluto. But he still lifts on. This backer will do it though. And now we're going into the last act situation. The boss holding back a little bit on his chair as well. He knows the danger approaching him. And the boss uh, 
His Luma is going to be the true wall that Luda will need to get face off against. Just some star bits and keep you out of here. True, very true. But here's oh. one there, and there's the cleft. But the interruption from that star, MVP star right there, the red Luma. Yeah, the true star of the show, but the red Luma. Oh, oh he's still oh, fighting. Oh, he's still fighting. Just a few pixels away from falling off of the stage. So just barely, Gluto still has to fight on. I don't think he's holding back too much because of it, though. He is still going in. The bus, however, with some perfect protection. The Luma is doing so much for him. And Gluto, he's just waiting for his turn. He knows his patience game. Yeah, this star is the best bodyguard I've ever seen when it comes oh, to Rosalina. The, oh, getting hit with the double rapid jab too. It's hex on so much damage. And with Ludo, oh, there it is! The up air to the wolf! He closes out game one. Telling you, man, if this is going to be a 3-0, it's going to be a long one. That Look at that pop-up. Look at that pop-up. He yes. was working for it so hard. It's patience, man. Like Wymus says here in Mexico, dale calma, pa. Calm down, baby, because we really need to take our time in this kind of matchup. So does the buzz, really. I think the reason why he was holding back so much is because he recognizes the menace in front of him. He knows that he has to play perfect neutral. He did so for a while, but it's only one interaction that Gluto needs to take it out home. Mm -hmm. And that he did, in fact, find that one interaction. But the buzz is playing so well here in top eight as well. Like the, the, the puppeteering that the buzz is using with the Luma, the amount of space that he's creating and the convergence from there into up air onto Gluto. That was both the KOs. True. Actually, yes, and the the backer in the second knockout, uh, the second stock as well, but it was a long time building up for Sam to get to that point as well. So Gluto cannot depend on the straight hits. He needs those conversions, and the buzz needs to recognize when those are coming in. There were a lot of neutral attempts as well that planked with the Luma, so you know that the buzz has some great protection on his side. Planking again, but this time Gluto is the one who didn't get a hit. He neutralizes the Luma. Oh, okay, so we're actually seeing the platforms be utilized against the buzz a little bit as we see uh, Gluto get a couple of what normally is about two up airs uh, easily got converted into uh, four just because he was able to reset on these platforms and continue to ladder the buzz so high up into the air but there's the nair into a forward air the patented nair from the buzz that is the can opener if I've ever seen one pretty much oh but the bike that bike yeah just the slightest delay get down Mr. President <laughs> Light as the light, getting Gluto to actually hold his shield, saving him for a dear life, holding on to it. And a lot of percent on both players, but I do see the bus ever so slightly closer with the momentum and percent to close out this stock, especially with the Luma. Yeah, you can see this is the defensive positioning that we're kind of expecting the bus to play whenever uh, Gluto is forced to approach, just uh, really hiding underneath these platforms and making sure that Nair's can't be uh, full hop nared uh, as an approach, but really only a short one. But dash attack does connect, and again, both these players still living at these like insane, in these high percents. Both looking very red, and both of them also on the verge of getting a super solid hit. Gluto committing to that downer, unfortunately for him, does not find its mark and lands right on stage. That's black for days and. The bus is able to close it out with a down smash. Now, of course, there's still a menace of getting hit with a backer. I think at this percent, at any place in the station, would probably get the KO, but the bus has been showing some great DI, so I don't know. Yeah, and you can see Lutney actually looking for these back airs on the bus. However, since the bus is aware of it, he's actually occupying the space with aerial attack. But Glutney, in fact, finds a dash attack that closes out the stock. But 64%, that's no easy feat to make against a buzz. Especially with that red Luma, we already saw it. Oh, the red and Luma's back. The red one is back, baby. And it's doing so much work for the buzz once again. It's been here for a while now. Unfortunately, getting separated a little bit, but it's again coming in clutch. See, flight, whenever that red Luma is on screen, Gluto suffers. Yeah, and see, look, that was the opportunity. Like, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the star, right? Nope, I'm coming in swinging. I'm gonna set up my princess, and now you're out of here, Gluto. Red Luma fan club, baby. If you guys believe the buzz is the best, you should also join the Red Luma fan club. Unfortunately, though, that's a bit far away now, and she cannot save the princess anymore. But the buzz is back on center stage, waiting for Gluto to approach, and of course, getting the punish onto him. Okay, a couple of forward airs. Red Luma still in play as the buzz uh, recovers from low. Oh, there's a, the up tilt, but unfortunately for Gluto, not able to get the up air conversion. The buzz escapes, and here we go again. The dash attack from down tilt, and 
top of that red star out of here. Let's see what RNG, what kind of what kind of defender the Buzz will get in about 10 seconds. And the Buzz seems to be first focused on getting this return. Oh! The percent though, remember, the more percent you have, the less invincibility on the ledge. So the timer ran out a bit too fast for the Buzz to realize. And we're back in the same situation as last game, waiting for Glutiny to get the percent onto the Buzz and then looking for the wealth conversion. Even respecting the Luma off that up throw, immediately going in his shield, we see a uh, Ludo. Uh, really, unfortunately, they, he can't convert. But just the bodyguards that appear for the buzz, they're just too strong. You have to respect them. Okay, there's the nair. Gets them the one nair, but not, unable to convert. There's the up air. We're chasing. Ludo is chasing so far high up. It's looking like Ludo might not even need the wall at this point. He's getting so many hits on the buzz. The hits that he was not getting all all game long. And now the bus finally gets another hit onto him. But Gluto so good at escaping that. He's such a escape artist. No more Luma either. This is not the red one, not the MVP. And a dash attack will do it. No Serene, not quite yet. Not even a, uh, a KO screen of that. Yeah, okay. Here we see the bike set up. He's going to apply pressure. Trying to get the re-grab. Is that going to be a punish? Oh, but what? Whoa. He escapes death. The buzz. You're, you're a puppeteer master. And the bus gets an outsmash as well. The Luma is back too. This is the yellow one though. Will it be enough to get the KO? Gets a rapid jab set up on the ledge. Ludo just holds the shield. He will eventually get hit with this. No, it's the Ender. And oh. the outsmash is going to F2. There's so much patience coming out from Gluni. He knows that his time is coming. He just needs to find his one window of opportunity and the buzz continues to short hop. Looking for it, but the back air connects and Gluto goes up 2-0. 2-0, man. Like we said, if this is going to be 3-0, it's going to be the longest. And yes, it has been pretty long. But Gluto, slowly but surely, every single time building up to the comeback. And these have been two games where the same situation has happened. Only the Waft actually whipped, so he got the stuck with a backer. Straight hits, good neutral. Gluto's playing amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so surprised that Waft whiff, especially with it being extended by the bike. Hit, like... How do you escape that? And he has gone for that so many times in his career that never misses. Right? I mean, the hit can, his accuracy percentage must be like close to perfect perfection with the one blemish that we just saw on the record. Yeah, this one little miss might hinder the, the record a little bit. But thankfully for him, he got the match. So that's all that matters. He is now up 2-0. The Buzz is the one in desperate need to make something happen. He starts out fine as usual, but how long will he be able to find these hits before Gluto switches plans once again and waits for the Buzz to come in and go in and then takes out Luminol? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen the Buzz. He does have a fantastic game plan. It's just that those, those small conversions that Gluto is able to take, and he takes them to the bank. He gets absolutely as much damage as he can before resetting and trying to, in fact, win neutral again. And neutral, it is back on center stage for Gluto, but unfortunately that stage control does not earn him that much. He does KO Luma though, and he does interrupt the bus a couple of times. The bus keeps getting planted onto the stage, but no stocks taken just yet. The bus is back in center, and we just know what fan club is now rising up in arms. It's the Red Luma again. The Red Luma takes a forward air for Rosalina and still is in play. Oh, and the Luma might. Oh, he was just about to do one of its shenanigans, spitting the pinning Gluto into the bus. Okay. Well, the buzz uh, unfortunately loses his best bodyguard as the red star uh, does fall into the blast zone. Gluto is looking for these ledge trap, gets a down tilt into dash attack, and look at this chase pri applying pressure just with movement. And the downer once again being a much better two frame tool than forward tail at this point because it gets you a bit closer to it. But the MVP once again, the Red Luma beating Gluto out of there, and that's the suck, man. How on earth? How do you get two Red Lumas in this in a row? And you get them to be just as useful. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's gone, but it did feed you it, to a suck. It did its job. Yeah. It, it in fact did more than its job in in this set so far. And Gluto, I think is now going to fish for those backers once again. At this point, that's looking like the safest option to get the KOs. He gets that Luma out of there immediately, and the dash attack is not getting the knockout quite yet from coast to coast, but still living until the forwarder hits. Yeah, superb DI from DeBuzz. Unfortunately, it's not going to save him from getting KO due to that forward air, but here we go. The up air trains? No. DeBuzz, uh, our Glutiny is able to challenge DeBuzz on the way down with the down air of his own. 
And Gluto is also now oh. the... Oh, oh, wait a minute. No! Oh, the opening. He only got a Luma. It didn't even KO the Luma. Wow, that's so unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> used, your, used your ace up your sleeve, the ace in the hole, and it didn't hit your target, hit the secondary target, but didn't even KO the secondary target. Yeah, that's so sad for Gluto, but thankfully he does not look shook at all. The buzz makes it back with a very smart up B onto center stage, center platform too at the top one. And back with the Luma once again, Gluto has to work extra hard. Thankfully though, he can run the clock if he wants to. He can get another walk charged, but it's going to take a while and you might take a lot of percent because of it. The downer does not hit the buzz this time around and once again hits the Luma. <laughs> yeah, Numa is of oh, course being the, the MVP, and uh, Ludo didn't have a job. Couldn't get out of the bike, and so we go to a game number three. First set that is not a 3-0 as well. So this it finally has a player taking, uh, well, claiming a game for themselves after losing the first two. No game for Leo needed, but it's going to be game for Ludo in this situation if he wants to clutch it out. But now we get to go to Gluto's counter pick. And we did we, we were able to see not only how much um the buzz was able to use those platforms to his advantage, both defensively and offensively. True Gluto also got some some uh up air ladders of his own. But now that we're going to Gluto's pick, we may see those platforms disappearing. Yes. Actually I was thinking the same thing. It's either FD or perhaps Carlos even. Or I was thinking town. Town? I could see town. Because, you know, actually disappearing, you know. Yeah, yeah, then out. you'll have the final destination transformation. Yeah, that exactly. makes that does make sense. I could also see Carlos being the, being the option just because, you know, when it comes to, like, how the platform uh, are laid out, you have to be on the platform to, like, to use it as defensively. Right. And it appears it's going to be neither of them. We're back at that field. <laughs> And to get the round back here, I mean, Bluto did win, did win game one when the buzz came here. Um, then the buzz getting the round back, of course. But hey, it seems like it's all about the adaptation, right? The buzz actually getting hit a lot more. The Luma not doing much either for defensive, for for the defense, and it's gone already. Yeah, that was a very fast Luma stock. I don't see the buzz. Uh, Losing stage control anytime soon. Oh no, he actually does. Gluto throwing out a very good neutral air. We're back with the MVP deal, and the buzz is setting up shop. Yeah, okay, but we're seeing a couple of forward airs just trapping Gluto's landing over and over, and he's just getting so many miles, so much mileage. Do we see the nair to up air? The nair does connect, but the up air just a little bit too far away for Gluto to to get knocked into the sky. That's a drift DI, buddy. Shout out to the rivals of Ether Gang. They know how to DI out of those combos, and sometimes you have to put yourself a little closer to the blast zone so you don't get the second hit on. But thankfully for Pluto, he's still alive and kicking, and the boss whips an up smash. He does not get this next one, not, not even committing to any moves, but the air dodge will save Pluto and you right here. Still taking a lot of damage out of there. Yeah, Gluto is forced to recover high again. He is resetting on the platforms, but now here, here is the puppet master of the buzz. But just full hopping right over, but recalling the bodyguard back. The buzz playing so phenomenal right now. And the buzz finally getting the up smash with which Luma? The oh, red yeah. Luma. As you there, I I can't see any other Lumas getting KOs other than the red Luma. <laughs> At this point, it's always feeding it, but finally it's out of there. Gluto not even committing to the downer anymore. He wants the buzz to be back on stage to get these kinds of hits, right? The confirm with a down tilt to dash attack, or perhaps a back here once they are right here. And there we go. That's the slap get out of here, baby. We're back to even. Yeah, big F tilt coming from Gluto. We reset back to two stocks, zero apiece. And there's a Nair, but only gets one up air for a conversion. I do feel like that Luma would have interrupted if Gluto went for an additional. And Ludo now getting killed between the two. Unfortunately for him, it's only 2%. So yeah, that, not that actually didn't do that. <laughs> it was, considering the Luma was also there, right? Same thing. It should have been the, the, the two of them. But the percent on the bus is the real story right here. The bus getting punished so hard, even getting the side, sorry, the neutral B from Gluttony. And now fishing for those backers to close out the suck early. And he has the walk now. So he's, I don't think he's going to rip it out in this stock. No, I feel he's just so far ahead. And this. He, so close to closing out the stock, the second stock for DeBuzz here in game number four. But DeBuzz is not going to allow it to happen so so easily. Just already showing that Nair into up air so high up can take a stock. 
And speaking of high up, I think Ludo is definitely going to try and beat the bus closer to the top last zone. But unfortunately for him, it seems like he is the one getting closer to it. So the bus yeah. will not allow for any reversal situations here. He wins the smash, but the down smash is going to do it. Gluttony still has his great resource in the waft here, of course. And he tries to go for the F-Tilt, but the Luma is doing all the work for the bus here to save him. Yeah, Red red Luma definitely MVP. This Green Luma, they're, they're doing work too. As you can see, okay, now to buzz. Playing solo once more, but falling with these nares, you can see uh, Gluttony playing uh, really, really around his shield at the moment. That's going to be a back throw for sure. Not going to KO, of course, but setting up for more stage control for Gluttony and trying to go for some down tilts on the ghost over there. <laughs> Hitting absolutely nothing, but waiting for the boss to come through. This percent is building up a lot, of, uh, I think, though. And Gluttony does not find a way to close out the boss is stuck. This is looking like it's going to be trouble, but he gets it. F-Till does land, but not before Gluttony uh, takes 65%. He both did a fantastic job of, of just land, trap, trap his Gluto's landings on these platforms. As you can see right now, just utilizing him to his advantage. Just so many up airs getting thrown at Gluto. Also, here oh. comes the possible walk setup. We know the bike is there and it's going to extend the hitbox, but Bluto's like, okay, I don't need it here anymore. Mm -hmm. I actually need to set up somewhere else. The bus, uh, his percent is too low. It, he still might live from the walk, so you want to get a few more straight hits and of course not get KO'd yourself. That could have been a bigger punish. He gets a grab, but the up smash, the menace of the up smash, I think it's present. Very true, okay, there's the Nair, but the Luma takes the second hit of the Nair, unable, not allowing Looney to, to actually to convert, and a big down air from DeBuzz. We got a game five. We first, the first game five in this entire top eight is coming through, and it's DeBuzz against Gluttony. A lot of a lot of adaptation so far from both ends, I think, but the bus slowly but surely building up to this very comfortable position and I don't think he moved the cursor anymore. We're going back to Battlefield again. Okay, yeah, running right back. We only had one game that wasn't on this Battlefield. Yep. And it was FD of all places. It was FD of all places, <laughs> for sure. Is that a replay we're seeing, I think? Yeah, yes. We're going to see that the buzz downer shortly, but like you said, a very good catch from the buzz. He hadn't gone for that option to cover any recoveries earlier on either. Right, right. See, he's just playing back, just really baiting in Gluttony, just with dashing back. All about the spacing once again, and also forcing Gluto to, perhaps with his waft earlier too, because the bus, when he is in last stock, uh, he holds back a lot more, he sets up shop underneath the platforms, and like you said, just moving, just baiting Gluto to go in, and he's like, okay, pull the trigger, man. I know you're gonna do it, but you're gonna hit my Luma. Very true, and the Lumas have been the MVP of this set for sure. Like the buzz really showing the puppeteering, the puppet master that he was in Smash 4, and he converts all the way here into Smash Ultimate as well. Lutney already sitting at 100%, 8% for the buzz. All of a sudden, right? 30 seconds have gone by, and all of this percent onto Gluto. Off of missed opportunities when going in, right? He keeps trying to go in, but he's just faced with this perfect wall that the bus has set up. And we know that it's not going to last forever. Ludo gets some really good strings going on when he does go in, but it's looking less and less common every time. Yeah, and you can see the Blutney in no rush to approach the buzz as he once again takes the defensive position underneath the platform. And the Luma, of course, being positioned right in front of it. So it creates a wall in front there's a platform above you, so you have a ceiling and a wall. That's a oh, fantastic. I mean, we were talking about Steve building house. The buzz is out here building houses. Pretty much, yeah. He sets up shop. He sets up home. And he does not let anybody go in. But as we speak, his percent is actually growing a little bit. Thankfully, though, those upbeats have been coming in clutch every single time he goes back to center stage, either the top platform or the actual central platform. Whoa, oh, half off? The half off to close that out really quick. I have not seen a half wall from Gluttony in, in a while. It's been so long. I feel like I've just been revitalized with half wall. Oh, he just gets those clutch opportunities, right? He knows his, uh, his arsenal that he has at his disposal. And it's not common, like you said, but it clearly shook the bus a little bit too. Oh, right. I mean, no one was prepared for that. No one. Nobody expects the half waft. Nobody expects the red Luma to fall here either. The gravitational pull taking the bike out of the arsenal as well. It's going back to center though. I, mean, I think Ludo might set up for another half waft later on. I mean, time will tell for sure. 
If he, if he does go for another half lob, it'll probably be after around the 3.30 mark? The 4, exactly. four minute mark? Yeah, I'll give it like 30 seconds more. He might be able to charge something. And with a fresh stock, he eats the bike. He, uh, you know, at this point, I think he's just going to wait and see what the buzz is up to. Yeah, the buzz isn't actually like at a percentage where half off would be uh, powerful enough. So probably just opting to go wait out the time for the full waft in that case. But still trying to approach. I mean, you still got to do work. And the buzz is also. Uh, Thinking that Gluto will, he will eventually go in. Of course, he will eventually fall victim to his Lumas, but the Luma is now gone, and we are back to playing these footsies. The bus actually dash attacking the shield and Gluto, and he dropping it, getting hit by it, losing stage control, and now landing a super solid throw. Remember, the bus is past the same amount of socks, of course, but Gluto, look at his percent in comparison to the bus. It's oh, the jab reset, but the Gluto comes in clutch. The Luma sucker punch to save the buzz. So we got two MVPs now, the red loom and the blue loom. <laughs> yeah, with an honorable mention of green. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, okay, but Kudo is slowly on the approach, pressuring the shield just a little bit, but another down air from Luma. I don't even think, I don't think the buzz is even playing Rosalina anymore. He's playing Luma now. Pretty much. He's like, go, my son. Go, my child. Go win neutral for me. You're <laughs> doing all the job. Well, of course, not, not everything, right? The up smash still needs to come through from Rosania. I have not seen, like, Luma in, uh, alone get those up, up smash uh, knockouts. But, hey, the percent is not looking dangerous for the bus just yet. But the waft is building up a little bit. But the Luma keeps avoiding. Dear Lord. Yeah, keeps forget, getting forget out of there. about trying to set up at the ledge for a trap against the buzz. You really have to get rid of that. Like, we got to go back to basic. Get rid of this Luma so that you can actually set up for it. Because the moment you forget about Luma, it just sucker punches you again. And now you've lost your, your advantage. That's what they tell you on paper too, right? How do you play the Rosalina matchup? Get that star out of there first. Then you can take care of the princess. But Order of operations, friends. <laughs> Pretty much. But Ludo is clearly uh, not bringing... Uh, I mean, he, he started out amazingly, but I think it's the bus who has really found the adaptation. Closing out the distance between Glutony and him, cashing his landings every time with those smash attacks, and now even trying to go for the bike in his advantage. Yeah, the buzz is playing phenomenal. He is absolutely on fire at the moment as he has uh, a full stock lead against Glutony, who was up 0, up 2 0 at the beginning of this set. We could be seeing a reverse 3 0 from the buzz against Glutony. And there it is, the up smash and the pop up! Oh, oh. Let's go, the buzz pop up! We just saw a live the bus pop up here in Mexico. Now, if here's... staring down the crowd too, I yeah. love it. Because he knows that the crowd was cheering for Gluto as well. He was like, "Yeah, on your face, guys! I took this one. And I'm now in winners' finals against MK Leo, and a little bit of history for oh, you." Oh, oh, even throwing up some signs. All right. In Smash Factor Five, this I think was the grand finals. It was either the grand finals or winner finals. As well, but Leo clutched it out against the bus, and now they're getting a run back. About well, how long has it been? Like seven years later. Wow. Across two different games in winners' finals. That time, Leo closed it out with a limit side beer with Cloud, and the bus rage quit it. Good times. <laughs> Good limit, time. <laughs> limit, <laughs> limit, 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 to make the run back against MK Leo in his homeland. That's absolutely insane. And I, we're just going to see if history is going to repeat itself later on in the night, or will we see a new champion going to grand finals from winner's finals? And also keep in mind that there are still some really, really heavy players uh, over there in the losers bracket so you guys do not want to miss out on that we're going to have one more set Perfect. in this commentary vlog we're going back <laughs> to the losers bracket where sonic's shiny meister meister and now gluto are waiting to play okay well if uh we are probably going to be seeing meister versus sonic's then because gluto did just in fact finish mm -hmm. playing i would have loved to see shiny mark versus gluto that sounds like a real a really explosive match so that's gonna come to us later on in the night but for right now it sounds